So it's currently just 8 in the morning. We're really excited to get to Milford Sounds. Milford Sounds is really iconic for its uh, incredible fjords, which just raise up in water and waterfalls. Uh, I don't think there's going to be too many waterfalls because it's quite dry recently, but we're really hoping for some epic sunrise and sunsets. But accommodation down there is really limited, so it's going to be hard for us to stay. It's super cold this morning. It's just the whole car is frost. So we have just made our way to Fjordland National Park. We're about an hour outside of Milford Sound and we are both so excited. Since the early planning stages of this trip, um, this is the area that I think we are both most looking forward to seeing. It's a little remote and certainly rugged. Um, it's, I want to say, four hours from Queenstown, so it's not on the way to anything except for itself, but well worth the drive. We cannot wait to show you guys this place. Uh, we have a good amount of sun today, uh, mild cloud cover tomorrow, so I think we're going to hit it for a pretty good couple days stretch. Hope everything works out. All right guys, so we have just pulled off the road. We're just short of Milford Sound right now and we both kind of like decided that Alex needed to slam on the brakes and pull over. There is a color in these clouds and sky that I've never seen in Oregon or anywhere. So we've just got to the beautiful, beautiful place of Milford Sounds. It is literally like the set of Jurassic Park. It's absolutely crazy. So at the moment we have got here and it's about four o'clock. So we have roughly an hour and a half to find a spot which we think is suitable for sunset. Somewhere which we can capture the whole landscape, not have too many people and maybe have something in the foreground. So at the moment we can see loads of logs around, those kind of things. So those are the kind of objects we're looking for in mind to make this a really good sunset uh, because it's been quite an effort to do this to come down here but of course it's one of the main things you have to do in New Zealand. So we've been waiting a few hours and scouting around uh, Milford for locations and it is it's stunning, it's incredible. Um, so sunset isn't hugely happening, there's too much cloud cover and there's so many flies, I'm getting bitten to shit. This place is more experience I think, like this place is just so incredible uh, to come to, even if we don't get both get the most beautiful landscape shot, like what's the chances of that in 24 hours of being here? However, this place is like Jurassic Park and we're both going to just enjoy it as much as possible. guys we are at Milford Sound at sunrise it was not quite as colorful as we hoped but the sound came up and the reflections were amazing I'm actually very proud of my work this morning there's a couple dirt tracks with river crossings that Alex has researched and spied out on Google Earth and I think we're really looking forward to doing that today
so we're on the road back from Milford Sound and it was incredible but we wanted to shoot some of the locations we briefly saw on the way up and this was really one for me it was like a glance at the moment I saw this really beautiful lane it's overgrown it looks adventurous the trees are perfect it has all this like mossy I don't know kind of weird stuff it's, it's incredible it's kind of Oregon but more overgrown so I'm gonna do some really cool car shots here. I'm gonna try and get something in the foreground. We were actually looking for this probably for the last half an hour. We've been driving really slowly back down because it's actually just really hard to find. So the light was a little harsh in there, harsher than I thought. I tried to work around it by using objects in the foreground, but the light seemed to hit every point and just overexposed and make the shadows really hard to work with. However, I really enjoyed exploring that area and now it's time to hit the road again. Mm -hmm. 